how to assemble the Z axis left side. All right, here we go. We need B7. Five before one, before two, B7. And we need, uh, we need this acrylic piece here. So let's try and remove this paper. This is gonna suck. Okay, so since we're gonna be um, messing with a lot more of these tiny guys than I thought, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out one of these. It's an eight millimeter wrench, but I got a ratcheting side, so that's gonna be fun for adjustments. Makes it a lot easier. Anyway, let's continue. Okay, cool. So we got kind of everything organized. Uh, we're gonna start with the smaller of the pulleys. There's six pulleys. There's two small ones that are meant for the, the actual pulley section here. So um, the first step is to lock these bolts down just with the spring washer and this first nut. Let's do that really quick. You can go ahead and kind of snug these ones just enough to where they're tight. All right, cool. So those are nice and tight. And then we're gonna go ahead and just put these pulleys on here. And then put these uh, lock bolts here, these nylon locking bolts. So you're gonna want these to go on uh, snug enough to where they still spin, but there's no uh, play in the wheels. That's good, no play, perfect. Much. Play there. No play, perfect. Cool. So we're going to do the full, the four pulleys just like the other piece that we did in, um, before. So it should be really, really simple. So we'll just start with the long ones first. Long bolt, pulley, spring washer, oops, eccentric nut, and then the nut here. So just put up that little round spot in the, the eccentric nut there into the hole. And we're going to snug them on there. I'm just going to snug them on there until that spring washer goes flat. It's perfect. Probably a little bit too snug, actually. Just a tiny bit. Just enough to get these to move nice and smooth. And the more you work them in, the more smooth it is. So don't think you have to keep loosening them. Just kind of turn them. Now it's really smooth and perfectly snug. So that's how you want them. Let's do the next one. Long bolt, bearing, spring washer, eccentric nut, oops, eccentric nut, and the bolt here. Move those ones out of the way, those ones are next. And again, through the big hole right here, so that it sits nice and flush. I might even be able to do that one by hand just till the spring washer is crushed. Perfect. All right, let's work on the next two. So we're gonna go long bolt, bearing, two spring washers, nylon washer, and then nut. So these ones are gonna go through the smaller holes here on the bottom. And then, as you can see here, those spring washers need to get crushed, just so they lock. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, this one's going to need a lock. So you can see them in there, just doing it until they go flush. Boom, perfect. Can the wheel still spin? Just the slightest bit snug, so we're going to loosen it. Just that's perfect right there. That's perfect. All right, next one: bolt, bearing, two spring washers, nylon washer, and then nut. Do the small hole. And yay. This is the most like monotonous part of doing something like this, and it sucks. 
but it's gonna be so worth it. Cool. So just do it until those uh, spring washers are nice in. Oh, I'm going the wrong way on this tool. There it is. All done with B7. Set that aside. So we have all these um, these two nylon washers here that were extra. So I'm trying to figure out where that goes. And then um, all your T-nuts here. I'm going to go ahead and put those back in the bag because I think we're going to need those later when we mount them. So set that aside. All right, so the next step you're going to need to do is...